Hey everybody, what's going on? Dr. Jeff Langmaid here with Dr. Jason Deitch. New intro courtesy of Dr. Jason Deitch. We're trying that out right there. And welcome to Smart Tools in 10. We are going to break down today your doctor's brief. It's the beginning of May. It is posture month. That is your monthly campaign. Posture sits on top of all of May. Each week we break down an individual topic related to it. In your big action step for today, if you have not yet, is to be sure to check out the doctor's brief. That is for you, and it sets the stage for the entire month. Jason, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Doctor's brief is what it is. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day here. I hope it's good where you are as well. It's uh, nice to see people getting back into action. It looks like the country seems to be opening up, not without making sure there's plenty of fear to go with it. Um, but... The doctor's brief really is. Hopefully you're getting acclimated to the new normal, and this should be part of your new, your new normal. Um, but a lot of times people are asking questions like, what do you do? What do I do? And so most of this is automated. If you want to use it as set it and forget it, as we keep saying, that's an option. For those of you that want to add your performance on top of it, think of what we've done, all of our automations, as a stage. You step on top of the stage. The stage works. It's got plenty of, plenty of presentations. There's plenty of automations going out there. But as we said, there are some of you that are set and forget it. Some of you want to both set it and forget it and be performers. And so for that, here is sort of the scripting to be able to really get a sense for our take on the topic. Now, our take on the topic doesn't mean that has to be on your only take on the topic. It just means that these are prompts, they're talking points. They're, for those of you that just want to do as put as little effort into this as possible, it's done for you. Some of you are going to read it and go, oh, wait, that reminds me of, and I remember I studied, and, you know, here's an idea. You're the doctor doctor. This is ultimately up to you. It's your message. It's your voice. It's your brand. It's your reputation. You've got to make sure everything passes your sniff test and that it feels right, sounds right. However, you know, what you'll see is this is beautifully designed, research-based content that is designed to build an audience of people who want to learn from you consistently. That's what it's designed for. All of you can then figure out how much or how little you want to do in addition to that. But you should know the doctor's brief because that's sort of, you know, the cliff notes if they even have those anymore. Uh, if you're asking what are those, that's awesome. Uh <laughs> If you, uh, these are the cliff notes for the month's topics. This is doctor to doctor, the way we are thinking and the way you should be thinking about this month's topic so that you can riff on it any way that you'd like to. Jeff, this might be sort of like, uh, I know you're a musician. I'm a wannabe musician. Uh, there's the music and then there's, you know, sort of going, you know, abstract and sort of riffing on it. Maybe you can take that uh, that way. Yeah, that's it. I was, I, I was getting choked up at the beginning of this video there. Well, it wasn't due to emotion. It was actually my vitamin water got down the wrong pipe. So I apologize for that. But uh, I'm back with it, and I appreciate that uh, that transition back over to me. So this month is all about posture. Your doctor's brief is what you should check out. So this is internal communications. This is what you should check out. It's in your monthly campaign tab. We have it brought up behind us right now. This month, Posture, the Science of Body Position. What you're going to notice is similar to your weekly research uh, patient education handouts, similar to your emails. We break it out in terms of bottom line. What's the bottom line? Like, what, you know, What's going on in the world that made this an important topic? The next piece underneath that you'll, that you'll notice is why it matters. Pretty self-explanatory. Research that matters. This is showcasing to you well, why? Okay, it's important to people, but why does it actually matter? Bottom lines, why is it important? Why does it matter? Is why does it matter? And then underneath that, you'll notice the key points. So these are what we piece out and we put back into your doctor's briefs from all of the individual emails that go out each week, the Research That Matters email campaign, the reactivation campaign, and also those patient education handouts. So you can, at a glance, have a great idea for talking points, for a table talk, things you can bring up in your rehab space, you name it, you have the data, the science, the bits and pieces that are the high impact data points that you can bring up that tie to that weekly 
uh, topic and to the monthly campaign, and you can always have it handy. And now when I say you, the other aspect of this that's important is I mean you and your staff, your team, because to have a successful monthly campaign, everybody should know what's going on. If you go around and ask anybody who on your team, what's this month's campaign, and they don't know the answer to that, that is a problem. You need to make sure that they are aware. And guess whose job that is? It is yours. As the leader in your practice, as the one driving the ship, it's really easy. Download the doctor's brief. That gives you that campaign in a nutshell. Share it with the other staff members that you have in the practice so everybody's on the same page. That is the number one way that you can set yourself up for success and the entire team for that matter as you get into a month. Jason, you brought up some great points in some of our previous trainings about table talk and utilizing some of these points with the conversation with patients. You want to dive into that for a few minutes? I forgot our, I forgot our clock today, of course. Oh, okay. We got our pre-clock, not our during clock. You know, this is, this is video, this is live, and this is the way it's done. And you learn as much by watching and observing as you do from training. So uh, just a reminder. Yeah. The reason why it's valuable and important, and let's, let's, Again, reiterate, if all you want to use this service for is set it and forget it, you probably don't need to pay attention to this. The system is automated. The system works. So we do speak to two different conversations. We know that there are those of you that just go, give me the easiest thing. Just do it for me. I can't stand this stuff. I'm not going to do it. Whatever you do for me is more than that's going to get done otherwise. No problem. But we also know we get lots of questions. Hey, what about and can I and is there a way I can get even better results? And I like to do these things. You know, what could I do to make maybe contribute? So that's who we're speaking to here. If you're if you're happy, you're satisfied, if the system does the work and that's good enough for you, that's great enough for us. But if you want to keep building momentum and again, the goal here is to build your audience your net worth is equivalent to your network, the number of people you can teach and invite consistently. If that makes sense to you and you are an achiever, you're a high performer, not a just handle it for me, then understanding these doctor's points in the doctor's brief can be your talking points at table talk, can be even your talking points if and when you are out and about or on Zoom with your friends, colleagues, family members, whoever you're in touch with, just make it your sort of conversation of the month, right? So if you want to invite more people to learn from you, then you may start asking questions or starting conversations about the topic you're actually covering this month. So last month it was opioids. You know, there may be something like, hey, you heard anything about how the uh, how COVID's affecting the opioid crisis? No. Did you know? That's what we're teaching this month. This month, you could say posture. Hey, did you know that you know there's so many people that are experiencing increased neck and back pain? Or read the science quote. It's too small for me to read. I don't have front, but read the science quote for the week. All right? Did you know that there's more people now that are experiencing poor posture, which can affect your mood, which can affect your confidence, which can, can affect your physiology, right? Connect the dots. These are dots. Use them as tools to connect with other people and invite them to want to learn more from you. This is under the concept of be interested and then be interesting. Don't just shove information at people. This is a relationship. Relationships typically have communication as in a dialogue, not just a monologue, not just let me dump my agenda on you, but asking questions like, you ever been concerned about your posture? Did you grow up with a mom who always said, stand up straight, sit up straight? Just use it as a conversation starter because you've got all the rest of it to support the ongoing conversation. And again, we keep it interesting every month by switching it up every month so that as you see people in a community, you don't have the same topic 12 months a year. We call that boring after a while. Okay. So that's very much the motivation. Again, many of you, same churches, same schools, same sports teams with kids, same families, same communities. This is the long game. We call it farming because you're planting seeds in people's minds. These are seeds. Keep planting the seeds. And in time, those that 
are interested in learning from you as their mentor, as their teacher, as your their practice, as their place to go for better health and greater performance, then all of this starts working together. We automate all of it for some of you. For you high performers, this is your opportunity. Doctor's Brief is where all those details live. Jason, you're absolutely correct. The, the, the bottom line is this. Posture is something that transcends what we do as chiropractors. It is ubiquitous to what all of us do. Uh, some of us, you know, posture is the epitome and you know, the foundation of what we do with our techniques. Others, I'll say, posture doesn't matter until it does, right? Somebody came over with an antalgic lean, tell that person posture doesn't matter as they're trying to open up an IVF on one side and reduce their leg pain. So the bottom line is, you can take this, we've set the table for you, you can you know, salt to taste, utilize these tools in exactly the fashion, I would say number one, that we do for you, that's the most important point, make sure you get all your automation set up, but anything that you are interested and or willing to do above that with the daily uh, action and accountability videos, with your weekly research that matters videos, and certainly with t today being Tuesday, if you wanna just talk about a testimonial of somebody who came over bent over in pain. They walked out walking upright. And I also incidentally have seen and know a bunch of docs out there that I've had athletes with postural distortions who improved performance after they were able to get things more balanced. A lot of different ways you can go. We passed 10 minutes. I missed my clock. So we're going to call it a day for today. If you have any questions whatsoever about the doctor's brief or any other piece of the smart chiropractor, please feel free to leave them down below. We'll be happy to answer any technical questions. Head over to support at thesmartchiropractor.com. And for Dr. Jason, I'm Dr. Jeff. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to The Smart Chiropractor. We are posting videos on how you can market your chiropractic practice in a way that teach and invites consistently. We have found that is the magic formula to big time growth. So if you like this video, be sure to comment down below, smash that subscribe button, or visit us at thesmartchiropractor.com.